wisdom. You pray to have an open mind and to have your Holy Spirit among us to give us wisdom and knowledge, to capture your word. Let the Holy Spirit come down on us. Let your words come down in our minds, in our heads. Let the words come down on the mouth of Elder Andrews. Give us wisdom, give us your word in the name of Joshua Messiah. We thank you for this opportunity. Joshua Messiah's name, amen. 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 Mr. Malone, God bless you. Before we move on to the topic of today, I would like to ask if anybody can remind us of what we did last week. Who can remind us a bit, a recap of what we did last week? We learned the last six reasons why we should worship on Sabbath. Good. God bless you. We learned six more reasons why yes. we should worship on Sabbath. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Can somebody also give us one of the reasons why we should worship on the Sabbath? The Sabbath is a sign between God and his people. Good. God bless you. To start with, the Sabbath is a sign between God and his people. Please, do you have any Bible verse to support what you are saying in case somebody asks you? Should be in Genesis. Am I correct there? No, um, sir. No, sir. Oh. Is Ezekiel 20, 12? Correct, madam. Ezekiel 20, verse number 12. Please, can you open your Bible and let's read it together? Ezekiel 20, 12. Yes, who has opened Ezekiel 2012? It's a Bible study, so please get your Bibles ready. It's Bible study, so get your Bibles ready, please. Amen. Ezekiel 2012 says, I also gave them my Sabbath to serve as a sign between me and them. So they will know that I am Yahweh who sets them apart as holy. Thank you very much, Carol. Sabbath is a sign between us and God. That was your reason why you worship God on the Sabbath. God bless you. Yes, who else can tell us again some of the reasons why we learned that we should worship God on the Sabbath? Yes. Shalom, shalom. Sure. Yeah, well, shalom. shalom. Another reason is the Sabbath was kept by Ye Yeshua Messiah, according to the book of Luke 4, 16. Thank you very much. You have given your reason plus a quotation to back it up. Luke 4, 16 says, and as his custom was, he went to the place of uh, worship at the synagogue, and then he read on the Sabbath day. God bless you, Mr. Pepe. God bless you. Okay. Who else can give us a reason why we should worship on the Sabbath? Shalom, shalom. Yeah, we shalom. Yeah, shalom. I, I think uh, John 4, 24. God is a spirit, spirit a spiritual being. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit. 
Okay. And in truth, reality. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. We need the last one. The last one. Who can come out with one more reason why we send you on a Sabbath or what we call on a Sabbath? Shalom, shalom. Yeah, well, shalom. Another reason is the Sabbath sets uh, Yahweh's people apart from the world. According to the book of um, Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. Mm, 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 mm. It's a perpetual. Mm. I'll pray for you two times. Amen. <laughs> I've given two answers, all of them being backed by the scripture. That means that the study went good. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I also know why it went so good for you, Perpetua. You screenshot all my, my, my PowerPoints, huh? Sister Perpetua. Yes, Edda. <laughs> you screenshot my uh, 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 PowerPoint, huh? Yeah, I and then I and then I also quoted. I also do my. I do my. I, I put some notes there. Good. God bless you. That's how we study. God bless you all. Today we are going to continue according to. Um. The. Question our brother Isaac asked last time concerning Paul and the Sabbath. So today we're going to continue from there to see what the apostles did. The Bible says that there's no foundation laid that anybody can build on except the foundations of the apostles and the prophets. What they have laid on, that's what we are going to build upon. So that means that if they did something right, you and I have to, excuse me, follow the same thing and then build upon it. The apostles will not do one thing and then we will come and do another thing. Otherwise, it will contradict with the plan and purpose of Elohim Yahweh. Amen. Amen. So today we are going to see uh, what Paul and the others did. And if that be the case, what we should do. So I want all of you to take your pens and pencils. If you are lazy like me who don't like writing, take screenshots so that it's be on your phone, on your iPad, wherever you are, then you have something with you. And that one will also help you. Now, wherever that you are, wherever that you go, you have something with you to prove about your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. So of all the people in the Bible that people quote, excuses uh, them, to excuse themselves from keeping the Sabbath day. The Apostle Paul must be on top of the list. This Bible says gives a scriptural proof that Apostle Paul kept the Sabbath commandments and he thought that faith establishes the law rather than doing it away. So if Paul said that Jesus Christ came to do away with the law, why did Pete, uh, Paul observe the Sabbath? You see? So the first quotation I want you to have today is this. First Peter chapter 2 verse 21. The Bible says, For you have been called for this purpose, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving an example so that you will follow his steps. He who committed no sin, nor was no deceit found in his mouth. I repeat the word I'm going to underline with red pen. He said, Jesus Christ suffered and gave us an example so that you should follow his steps. So our sister Perpetua says something in Luke 4, 16. The Bible says Luke 4, 16 that Christ observed the Sabbath. So if uh, 1 Peter 2, 21 is saying that we should follow his steps, what are we to do? It's a question. It's a question. Who can give me a good answer to that? 
if Luke 4 16 says that Christ observed the Sabbath as his custom was, and 1 Peter 2 21 said we should follow his steps, then what are we to do? It's a question. We should follow to obey him. Obey it and, and honor the Sabbath. Thank you very much. Because the Lord Yahshua Messiah did it. And second first Peter 2 21 says we should follow his steps. So let's continue. Thank you very much, Brother Marlon and Sister. It was your correct answer. Okay, let's see. That's the Luke 4 16 I just quoted. So we are following the steps of Messiah. And Paul also said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, he said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. <laughs> imitate me as I imitate Christ. What does the word imitate mean? To, yes. act like, to act like, to be like, to do as exactly like. Good. To copy somebody, to do us. So don't forget, First Peter 2.21 says, Learn from me, or uh, Christ has given us an example for us to imitate, for us to copy. So Paul copied what Christ did. And he is telling us, you guys, Amsterdam men, Belgium, Yahweh, uh, living Yahweh people, learn from me, copy from me, as I copy from Christ. So that means, the question I want to put here is, if Christ did what we call the L, what will Paul do? If Christ did the letter L, what will Paul also do? Do the letter, the same letter. The same letter, correct. Because he imitated from Christ. And now he's telling me and you to imitate also the same thing had that he emulated from Christ. So everything that Paul did, Christ did the same thing. Now, in the assignment I gave you, I'm going to stop my screen and I'm going to ask you concerning the assignment I told you about. Tell me what you learned from Paul. What did he do? From where did you read it? From there we move on. Yes. I'll call. Okay. No, hold on. I'll call first. Um, Mama Mary. or say, Mama Mary. Home okay. Then my last week, he said, "You know, I am Christian. I did a poor year, yeah. Christ to be a be. Aha. If you did a Christian last week, you tell me now, Mama Mary. You will need a call, Sister Pepper." Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. In fact, I am a question. I know me now. A B three as thirteen. As thirteen, verse fourteen. I tell me, bro. As thirteen, verse fourteen. Acts 13 verse 14. Uh-huh. Uh, 8 to 16. Yo, me patcho come in here, me patcho. Mama Betty, oh. Yo, me patcho come in here, me patcho. Mama Betty, oh. Okay. Eh, uh, uh, 14, what say? Now, nah, who die? Who free? Eh, uh, prayer go, I uh, no. A prayer go no. We chamu aba Antokia a a wall a pelida na wako shiada emu humeda. A koko ho shiada emu humeda. Kwatana asi. Ena waba fifty na uwe emrano adi a deep for eno. What deep for no can kind of she had no more penny, small barney in chance, and we are no more more 
a foot to send be a Mobeka at Shre or Mayano a Monka sixteen. Na Paulo, sorry, age nine. Now what did it? What did it say? Yami said, Is I marry man name a Musro or Yanko? Yeah, good. That's it. Why are they? What my Mary is reading from is she learned from the Acts of Apostles chapter 13, verse 14 downwards. Is there that it's written how Paul and the rest went on that missionary journey and how they taught the people on the Sabbath? My Mary, good work. Why are they? 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 Okay. Well done, well done, well done. Mama Mary want to give us all the answers. It's enough. Mama Mary, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Let us go to um uh who did I call? Perpetua. Then we come to Mama Matilda. What did we learn last week concerning the assignment I gave you? Uh-huh. Yes. Pep, are you there? The assignment I gave you. If Pep is not ready, we go to Mama Matilda. What did Paul learn or the example Paul gave us on the Sabbath? Mama Matilda, if you are there and ready. Okay, if not, we go to Brother Malon. Minister Malon, please tell us about your homework, what you did. Um, Paul went to the synagogue on Sabbath. Yes. And he was asked to speak to the people. Yes. Where he summarized the history of Israel. Mm -hmm. And further, he proclaimed the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, in Acts 13 to 15, he, uh, he spoke in a synagogue. In hey, Acts which, which Bible verse did you did you learn from? Which Bible verse is it? I didn't hear you. So Acts, Acts 13. Um, okay. And Acts 17 to 25. Thank you. It's enough. Thank you. You did well. Yeah. So, because of time, I have to cut the short, short, so that we can finish the topic today. Correct. All the answers that you gave are correct. They are all in the Ask for Apostles. So, as Mama Mary quoted and as Brother Marlon also quoted, it's in Acts of Apostles, chapter number 13, verse 14 to 16. But the Bible says that. But when they departed from Persia, they came to Antioch of Pisidia and went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. You see, on the Sabbath day. That's why Paul and the other people, they went there to touch the people. Not in the first day of the week, nor on Wednesday, but on the Sabbath day. So the first place in the Bible where you can get where Paul and the rest did the Sabbath observance is in Acts chapter 13. Thank you very much, Mr. Malon. And Mama. Let, me, let, let me add this quotation to Brother Isaac. I want to read Acts 13, verse 42. Good. It's on the they screen. Preach, yeah, they preach to them uh, that uh, uh, for the next Sabbath, they should come to them. They should come to them again on the next Sabbath. It means they continue on the Sabbath. Yes. They didn't do it for once, but the people saw it that it is good for them. And any time that they came to they came to meet them on the Sabbath, they learned a lot. So they preached to Paul and, and uh, other apostles that, please, we pray to you people. Next week, Sabbath, come again and share the word of Yahweh with us. So it means that if it was not there, those people would never pray to Paul. And this no. is the thing that the disciples used to do all the time. Yeah. Because they follow the steps of Yeshua Messiah. As Paul said, follow, follow my steps. As I follow the steps of 
Yeshua Messiah. So it's important for me and you now that we have seen that is the Sabbath, is the is the day that we have to use to worship the Creator. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Papa Isaac, God bless you. So what Papa Isaac said is already on your screen. So they told them, please come back the next Sabbath. He didn't tell them, please come back next Sunday, but the next Sabbath. And verse 44 said, the next Sabbath is written there. Uh -huh. Almost the whole city. Came together. Yeah. To listen to the word of Yahweh. So Acts 1342, Acts 1444, it also shows you and I that Paul and the people there at that time, they were observance to the Sabbath. Good. So put that one in mind. You can screen capture it. The next one is in Acts chapter 17, verse 1 and 2. Papa Malon said it. So the Bible says that now when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica where there was a synagogue. And then Paul, according to his manner, uh -huh, it's written here again. Mm -hmm. Luke 4, 16. Yes. Luke 4, yes. 16, according to the manner of Christ. You see that? Here the, yeah. Paul, the Bible says, according to his manner, and went to them and three Sabbaths. So how many weeks here? Three weeks. Three good weeks. He reasoned with them out of the scriptures. He did not go there on the Sabbath and the next Sunday and the next Monday and the next Tuesday. No. Three consecutive weeks. Every Sabbath day, Paul went there. So in uh, Thessalonica, where Paul went, he did three Sabbaths there. Keep it in mind. He didn't go there on Sundays, but three consecutive Sabbaths. He did it as his manner was. Good. And as after 18, that time, they are leaving now from uh, Thessalonica. Let's read. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus. I'm going to verse 4. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath. It's written right there in your Bible. Every Sabbath. And persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. So in Thessalonica, how many Sabbath did Paul spend there? Every, 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 every Sabbath you go there. No, Thessalonica, the verse three, seventeen. Three weeks. Three mm -hmm. weeks or three Sabbath. And in Acts uh, eighteen verse four, the Bible says every Sabbath. So let's see how many Sabbath that Paul put in. Uh, Corinth, because he is now in Corinth. He has left Thessalonica. He is now in Corinth. So let's move on and see how many Sabbath he spent there. So when you go to uh, verse number 11, I want you to open your Bibles to Acts chapter 18, verse number 11. Acts 18, 11. Acts 18.11. Who is there? Pacho me waho. Me pacho kind verse 11. Nenko ama ye mama. Okay. Pacho Acts 18 verse 11. Ose na. Wate na aho. Afe ne. Abosume. Insiya. Chire chire. Onyanko pon. Asem. Wo wo mu. Good. Me da se. Who has the English version to read for us, Mama? Uh, is anybody there with English version? Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. And Acts he, 18, 11. Yes, and he stayed there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. Good. So I want to ask to scroll back to verse number four. Verse number four says that, he was with them every Sabbath. Every Sabbath. Sabbath. Every Sabbath. And verse 11 says, How long did Paul stay in Corinth? A year and six months. six months. So, all the one year and six months, did Paul break the Sabbath? No. 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 
How many weeks are there in one year? 52. How many uh, uh, weeks are there in six months? Uh, 26. 26. So let, uh, let's add up together how many Sabbath did Paul spend at Corinth? How many? 78. 78 weeks. But in, in Thessalonica, he spent only how many? Three. And in Corinth, he spent how many? 78 Eight. weeks. Meaning to you and me that Paul did not break the Sabbath. So you see that in this particular case at Corinth, it was over a period of a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. So it will mean that 78 consecutive Sabbaths Paul preached there as his custom was, as his manner was. The question is, who did Paul learn from? Joshua Messiah. Thank you very much. Because he said, 1 Peter 2.21 said that he has laid us an example that we should follow. So he followed Joshua Messiah's example. So in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 18, verse number 4 and 11, it tells you how many Sabbaths or how many times that Paul spent the Sabbath. Now, the question I want to ask here is, did Paul observe the Sabbath when Christ was alive or when he had left to heaven? No, of course. No, of course. Yeah, that time Christ has gone. And about 70 years later that this Bible was written, Paul observed the Sabbath. So if anybody tells you that the Sabbath is an Old Testament thing, that the Old Testament people did tell the person it's not true. Why? Because after Christ has resurrected, yes, we are was so quiet. Paul spent day in the town of Corinth, 80, 78 different, uh, 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 78 consecutive Sabbaths. So this one is a big proof for you to know that Paul was not someone who was against the Sabbath. Yes, is that okay up to this point? Yes. Okay. Yes. Amen. Then we go again to Acts 22, verse 19. Acts 22, verse 19. <coughs> Acts 22, verse 19. Who is there? You went to every synagogue. I told my draw. Mama and Pacho, come in. Ask 1922. Is that what I said? Ask 1922. Yeah. Oh, 22. Sorry, 2219. I'm sorry. 2219. That's what I said. And I'm a white just said I'm kind. Sana Kama. Yeah, 2219. Sorry, yeah, 2219. That's it. Yeah, 2219. Yeah. Yanko Mama. Or Sana Mekan said, Eurade wo ara. Wouldn't even say, Wong ah. Read it again. Okay. Uh, 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 perpetual uh, platform. Yeah. Perpetual. Uh, I am so abasu. I don't know. Perpetual. I'm so much you know. Uh, my children are so. Oh, okay. 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 Acts chapter 22, verse number 19. Now, me can say, Eradi, one hour, one hour, one him say, one hour, what you would add, you know, maybe one megu a fiasse, na me she won't share, na me she won't share them any now. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. Paul is the one speaking here. He said that, I said, Lord, they know that in every synagogue, in every synagogue, I imprisoned and beat those who believe on you. 
You see, Paul is the one saying this here when they have killed Stephen. Now, the same Paul who was beating people in the synagogue, he went there to the same synagogue and then preached to them. So the question I want to ask you here is that if Paul was looking for people to kill them, that time he was Saul. <laughs> if he was looking for people to beat them, arrest them, imprison them, which day did Paul go and arrest the people? Which day? Sabbath. On the Sabbath day. Okay. That is when the people gather together and then he can arrest them. Now, the same Sabbath day, Paul is going there to preach them to them because Paul knows the time when the people get together. When the so this tells you and I that Paul was the one who was arresting people and put them, putting them in prison. And not only any other day, but on the Sabbath day. Good. Thank you very much. We jump ahead to Acts chapter 26. Acts 26. Verse number 11. Acts 26, verse 11. Who can read it for us? Acts 26, 11. The tree, and then I'll read the English. Oh, okay. Yes, 26, 11. Who can help us? What say? Now, my time. My time. What chain won't associate Adan in your name? Hey, hey, now, my share won't ma. Waka a bususem na me any bray won a so papa 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 inti ma tu won ma tu won de dia kodria ma tu won kodria an bacho me bacho ma tu won kodria ana ma 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 Acts 26, verse number 11. Ose na meta. Na meta me tre won asun ishi ya den yina emu. Na me she won ma waka ebu susem. Na me ni bre won so papa pa enti. Meta won kodru anana fo inkroso. Amen. Amen. Now this is where Paul is testifying against himself how he did to the early believers. Say he punished them. That time that Paul was so he threatened the church very badly. So 26, he said, I punished them often in every synagogue and compared them to blaspheme. And being exceedingly enraged against them. Paul did not do this thing only in Jerusalem, even into foreign countries. He went there to persecute them on the Sabbath day. So that's why Yeshua Messiah said that. When your persecution day is coming, pray that it will not happen on the Sabbath. <laughs> so the Sabbath is very, very important for you and me to observe it and observe it well. Because Paul, even though he preached to many during his time on the Sabbath day, but when he was so, he also punished people in every synagogue on the Sabbath. Now let's look at this one, Acts 16, 13. Today we are focusing only on the Acts of the Apostles. He said, and on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by the riverside where prayer was accustomed to be made. And we sat down and spoke to the woman who resorted death. You see that here again. He said, on the Sabbath day, they went to the out of the city on the riverside. Now, let me bring in something here. Why I brought this quotation in my slide. I was reading this book from this Jewish uh, rabbi. Mm -hmm very powerful reader a teacher he said that most at times when the synagogue is open for service on the sabbath and the number of people there are not up to a certain number he didn't number it they will close the church and move out into the nature maybe sometimes to the forest or to the riverside or to the bush anywhere in the nature to admire the beautiful things that god has made and just give glory to god Oh, what a beautiful man thing. What a beautiful flowers. Oh, what a marvelous work of hands. They just admire nature. 
chums and they go to the riverside. And here's one of them. He said, on the summer day, they went to the riverside, admiring the good things of what Elohim Yahweh has done. And there they sat down and then they prayed. So Sabbath day is very special. Apart from the fact that we meet and pray in our synagogues, it's also time for us to admire nature, what God has done. It's a resting time for our spirit, our body, our soul, and to give reverence to Elohim Yahweh. So Acts 16, 13 also is a proof here that the apostles also observe the Sabbath. Put this one in mind. We come there again. Now, the last but one. Paul offended nothing against the law of the Jews. Acts 25, verse 7 to 8, he said, And when he came, the Jews who came down from Jerusalem stood around about and made many grievous complaints against Paul, which they could not prove. <laughs> the Jews were complaining against Paul. What did Paul do? Has Paul uh, broken any law? They couldn't prove Paul wrong at all. He observed the Sabbath. So if he, Paul had gone against the Sabbath, the Bible will not read that they could not prove him wrong. You see that? So Paul did not break the Sabbath. Verse 8 says that, while he answered for himself, neither against the laws of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor yet against Caesar have I offended anything at all. So the Bible is telling us that Paul did not offend the Sabbath laws. So the question is, if Paul did not break the Sabbath law, did not offend the Jewish law, did not break anything according to temple law, then who are you and I to break the laws, covenant laws of the Sabbath? You see that? That's Acts 25, verse 7 and 8. Good. Now, any questions so far up to this point? Before we continue, any questions so far up to this uh, point? If no question, I'm going to ask you a question. Why did Paul not break the Sabbath? Why? Because he sees he see it as a, as a commandment of Yahweh. Thank you very and, much. And uh, it was uh, also observed by the Yeshua Messiah. Thank so, you. As the Bible says, we follow the steps of Yeshua Messiah. So we have to also. Thank you. Yeah, somebody else again with another question. Uh huh. Another answer. Why did Paul not break the Sabbath? Why? Uh, as in Corinthians uh, 11, verse 1, uh, Jesus Christ says, in, in, Imitate me as I imitate. Of, uh, Paul said that, and he imitates Jesus Christ. Thank you. That is why he did not break. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Who again can tell us one reason is right in front of your screen? Uh huh. Yes. I want you to open your Bible and read Ezra 31 15. Ezra 31 15. Ezra 31 15. Yes. 31 15. Virtual. Virtual. Work may be done for six days, but on the seventh day, there must be a Sabbath of complete rest dedicated to the Lord. Anyone who does work on the Sabbath day must be put to death. Good. Thank you, Minister Malon. Can we get a key version to supplement it? What's it? Nancy, on Fanyo Ejuma, Nada Etoso, Enso, Nonya Hume, Anya Hume, Hume Mu, Hume Da, A Ayakron Konoma, a Radi, Ubiara, A Warrior Ejuma, Hume Da no Kumna, Ube Kum no Pacha and one. So the Bible said in Ezra 31, verse 15, that 
if anybody uh, um, break the Sabbath command, the punishment was what? Death. So you see that? Breaking the Sabbath command carried a penalty of death. And Paul said that if he they had not committed anything worthy of death, he did not refuse to die. So Paul said, I have not broken any of the commands. So that was one of the reasons why Paul kept it, because he was afraid he himself would be killed. Amen. So in our dispensation, if we break the Sabbath law, will Elohim Yahweh kill us as is in Ezra 31 verse 15? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Question of, if we break the Sabbath law, are we going to die as is written in Ezra 31 verse 15? Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Hey, you are not, uh, he, he's not going to kill us, but he has the day that he has prepared for those who didn't celebrate the sabbath that day that he is going to show his power uh, for not celebrating the sabbath but now if you didn't worship him in on the sabbath now he's not going to do anything with you but when the day come and then he you have your punishment day thank you very much sister god bless you now he's not gonna kill you no and you're already dead <laughs> The Bible said the wages of sin is death. Uh -huh. You are dead spiritually. But on the last day, as our sister said, he's going to wake you up and then judge you and kill you again. That's the second death. Maybe far from us that Elohim Yahweh will kill us. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Good. So Paul taught us to fulfill the righteousness of the law. Romans chapter 8, verse 3 to 4. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through flesh, God said in his own son, in the likeness of flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law, the righteousness of the law must be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. So the righteousness means, what does righteousness mean? The word righteousness, what does it mean? Every Christian must know what is righteousness. What is righteousness? The righteousness according to the will of Yahweh. Thank you. By the way, you have read the word righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness means that it's truthful, honest, and right not precisely that you you are getting closer to it but it's not 100 percent precisely what is righteousness yes try again try again don't give up try again is brother malo alone the only one on the platform where are you all what is righteousness uh-huh brother isaac is not talking he's exempted what is righteousness yes 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 come on come on students what is right in the eyes of the lord of yahweh what is right in the <laughs> eyes of Yahweh? Thank you. I like that. But uh -huh, I need any one more. One more. What is righteousness? Good. But what is tunene? Tunene ya diye. Adiye tunene. Abra kron kron. Abra ba kron kron. Kron 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 na tunene yon kome da se. Why are they? What can be? What is righteousness? Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom, sister Pep. Uh, let, let me say my mind. I think uh, is the quality of being a uh, normally right of uh, just uh, just stable. Morally right. Thank you. Now look on your screen. I'm sharing a Bible verse with you in Deuteronomy chapter six, verse twenty-five. Deuteronomy six twenty-five. How do you attain righteousness? It will be righteousness for us if we are careful to observe. All these commandments. It's 25. Let me say 25. If you observe all the commandments of Elohim Yahweh, then you are righteous. So morally correct. If Elohim Yahweh says, don't do this, you don't do. Do this, you do. 
that is righteous living. That is doing the right thing in the eyes of Yahweh. That is righteousness, morally right. You see that? So righteousness means observing carefully all the commandments, not some. In your Bible there is written all. All like R-L-L. -L. All. Not nine. How many? Ten. Thank you. All the ten. That's why the book of James says that if you stumble against one of them, you have to stumble against all of them. So Deuteronomy 6.25 says, it will be righteousness for us if we are careful to observe all these commandments before Elohim Yahweh our God, as he has commanded us. I hope we understand up to this point, right? Okay. So if you get back to our slide, the Bible says in Romans 8 verse number 4 that the righteousness of the law, meaning that when we can observe and do all the righteousness of the Lord, then it is fulfilled in us. And that one includes the Sabbath. So don't let anybody talk you around that the Sabbath is the law of the old people. No, it is for all of us. Jesus kept it. The apostles kept it. And we are also to keep it. Amen. So, the last question I'm going to ask here is that, what then is sin? We have known now what is righteousness. What is sin then? Boni Ayadien. Sin is everything that goes against the Ten Commandments of Thank Yahweh. you very much. Sin is everything that goes against the law. So, First John 3 verse 4 says that, Whoever commits sin also transgresses the law. Why? Sin is the transgression of the law. So if you do anything against the law of God, it's a sin. So let me ask you, if you observe the nine commandments, but on the fourth one, you don't observe it, have you sinned? Yes. Yes. Okay, did Paul sin? No. Did Yahshua Messiah sin? No. no. So will you conclude here with me that uh, <laughs> those who don't observe the Sabbath, they are also sinning because they are breaking the fourth commandment? Yes. 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 Good. If that be the case, let's read together First John 5.17. First John 5.17. Yes, who is there? Quickly. Um, first John, first John 5, 17. Yes. Yeah. All oh, righteousness is sin. No, madam. Look carefully into your Bible. All oh, unrighteousness uh -huh. is sin. Thank you very much. All oh, unrighteousness is sin. Good. Good. All unrighteousness is sin. That means that anything that you do that does not go or it goes against the law of God is a sin. Because Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25, make us know that if you are careful to observe all of the commandments, then we are righteous. And sin is unrighteousness that is the opposite of it so as a christian let this kind of basic conceptions be at the back of your mind that one will help you also to teach others when you meet them so that you don't have to just go on my friend because you don't uh, observe the sabbath you are a sinner you die and go to hell no 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 it doesn't work like that you scare them let them know what the law is let them know what unrighteousness is when you bring such things out, they will know that inwardly they are transgressing the law. Amen. So Romans chapter 2 verse 13, put this quotation also at the back of your mind. Romans 2 13 
So, for not the hearers of the law are righteous before God. <laughs> Comma. Comma. Not the hearers of the law are righteous. We are now learning the law. You hear it. Not just hearing because tonight you are on the platform, you are hearing it, that make you righteous. No. Uh -huh. Read yeah. after the comma. Read after the comma. But uh, but but I wanna hear you. I wanna hear you, but after the comma. But the doers of the law shall be justified. Thank you very much. Not the hearers. If you hear me talking, pulling my ear, you are watching me, you are hearing me. <laughs> Not you hearing it to make you right or so, but, but to do it, to do it. Read it, read it, read it. It's on your screen. Read it. Let me hear you reading. But the, the doers of do the law shall be justified. Read from the comma to the full stop. But but the doers of the law shall be justified. The ones but, who do the doers of the, of the law, law shall, shall be, justified. be justified. I didn't hear Mr. Petra talking, but. <laughs> but but yo but I don't hear <laughs> oh Madeline but but to hear hey, but to do to do it read it read it read it read it is there read it Mr. Betty <laughs> Ellen White where are you <laughs> The dogs of the law shall be justified. By the water? Justified. <laughs> By who? Yeah. I don't see. But the who? Yeah, with this one. Yeah, with this one. But the dogs of the law shall be justified. Thank you very much. <laughs> the doers. <laughs> <laughs> not the hearers but okay. the doers of the law shall be justified so okay. the law are 10 commandments if you do all of them you will be justified does one also include the fourth commandment yes all 10 of them hey does that include the fourth commandment yes keeping the Sabbath what is the fourth commandment, Sister Madeline? Carol, mm -hmm. moment, Carol, much of the testability for what? <laughs> Magdalene, what is the fourth commandment? I'm sorry, sorry. Said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Are you Magdalene? <laughs> <laughs> Magdalene, what is the fourth commandment? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll come and bite your nose. I'll come and bite your nose over there. You don't know the fourth commandment. Ah, okay. Let me call somebody else. Who should I call? Mama Matilda Yakubu, please. What is the fourth commandment? The fourth commandment, yes. Okay. Ellen White. What is the fourth commandment? Hey. So they are not on the platform. They just joined and they just closed their phones and left. Okay, thank you. Somebody is using phone. Phone. What is the fourth commandment? Have you people me meet yourself or what? Because it's an yeah. easy question. Everybody yeah. might supposed to answer this question. If please go go one by one. Mention everybody. This is an easy question. Everybody must answer. Thank you. The person with the phone has answered the question correctly. I want Ellen White to answer me. Ellen White, what is the fourth commandment, please? Come on. Ellen White. Eh? Okay. Mama Matilda, please answer my question for me. We are doing Bible studies. What is the fourth commandment? Hey, 
Okay. Never make any. Make void. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Brother Marlon, okay. please tell us the last one. Let's go. The fourth commandment. The fourth commandment. Never make and make your own carved idols or statues. Mr. Marlon, I will come and bite your nose over there. That's not the fourth commandment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I need to know. Hey. Uh, the fourth one is uh, uh, Romans 12, 13, yeah? Hey, mommy. <laughs> fourth commandment, uh, uh, Sabbatarian. Oh, is the, is okay. the, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. No, yeah, so you people don't know. Sabbath day, keep it holy. Yeah, yes. yeah, okay. huh? You people don't know. No. Yeah, so, know. assuming you have died and you are standing in, no. in, in presence of the creator and he's asking you, give me the fourth commandment. Is that how going to do Give me four commandments. Say it before you, you, you can enter into paradise. Please. We have to four be very serious. We are Please. serious. Oh, Children of Yahweh, we, we have to be very serious. serious. Okay, remember oh, the Sabbath day. So remember the Sabbath day. That's the fourth it's commandment. Not. Remember the Sabbath day. But, but I said it, and then she said I'm not married. <laughs> no, I was, calling, okay. I was calling Magdalene, and you came in. And I wanted Magdalene to answer the question for me. So I was going name by name. So your okay. answer was correct, but I wanted Magdalene to say it. Okay, sorry. Her, huh? So. <laughs> confused. Confused about what? Oh, oh. Nah. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank we you. know it, but it was confused. No, don't say we know it. You quoted from another place. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me go back and finish my work. Romans 2 verse 13 says that not the hearers of the law will be justified, but the doers of the law. So if you don't know it, how can you do it? Eh? If you don't know it, how can you do it? So you must know it. Okay. Before I close it and give it to Brother Isaac, the last question I want to ask is this one. What is the second commandment? Me, me, me. Oh, me, Betty, the me, 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 me. Mama Betty, the question is for you. Please answer for us. What is the second commandment? Yes, Mama Betty. If Mama Betty is not there, perpetual, sister perpetual, give us the second commandment. They shall not make unto thee any graving image. Graving, graving. Okay. So and I tell us, hey, when you uncle pon ye and to the moon. Oh. And hey. Mama Mary. Mama Mary. Hey. Hey. The second commandment. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you, shall have, you shall have no other gods before or beside me before me that is the second commandment okay okay uh before we close i'm gonna mention them one by one please get your phones ready when i mention your name just give me the answer bam okay <laughs> it's a perpetua what is the first commandment it's a perpetua Sir Petra, the first commandment. What about you, Fris? Wahum. Me, my job, me, Fris. Me, oh, my job, me, fun at all. My friend, my bamba, just say. Oh, what is the first commandment? The first commandment is, he said, "I'm the Lord your God." Many unya ngopo, the Lord your God. Uh huh. I am the Lord your God. Uh huh. That shall not have any other God before me. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless the, you. The answer is, that shall not, I am the Lord your God, it's not, it's a summary, but the answer is, that shall not. Shall not have He's looking God. for the second one. That, okay, shall not. that shall not. Okay. Uh, okay. We jump to Sister Carol. Ooh. Sister Carol, please give us the fifth commandment. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. 
No problem. God bless you for being honest. I like it. Good. Mama Betty, give us the fifth commandment. You shall not bow down yourself to them or serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God. No, madam. That's uh, the fifth commandment. No, I, I, madam. I, 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 I will beg you. No. We have to find we have to find a day so that we we will we will learn this thing because when you tell when you ask somebody to even give you four straight, you can't. I think, I, the think, I, think, I think the problem is here. I think the problem. They are using the verses as the uh, as the number of commandments. That's what they are yeah. doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not the verses. But, but, the, but the fifth commandment is in 13. Uh -huh. The fifth commandment is in 13. That shall not kill. Or see, in the that shall not kill. Uh, the fifth yeah, yeah. commandment? Do not murder. The fifth commandment is honor your father and mother. Hey, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, that's the fifth commandment. Verse, four, verse 12. Okay. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. The verses are not the verses are not the commandments numbers. Yes. Hold on. Let, let me show you a tiny slide that will help you to understand things better. If you want to understand the Ten Commandment and know it by heart, mm -hmm. write them from your Bible to a page like this. Number mm -hmm. one, I am the Lord your God. Have no strange gods before me. Number one. Number two, you shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Number three, mm -hmm. remember the, to keep. Oh, say this is the Roman Catholic one. Sorry, sorry. No, three, <laughs> sir. Yeah, let me yeah. bring this one. This is the one I was teaching the people about. Uh huh. Maybe the other one. Okay, let me bring the this one. So when you are reading your Bible, take a pen and paper and write them one by one. When you write them one by one, verse from the verses, you can know it much better, much better. Otherwise, you make mistakes. The verse numbers are not the um uh. uh the verse numbers are not the uh, what did I say? The the, mm. the, the, the number of the uh, uh -huh, the number of the commandment. So don't number three. I say embo we ready to unyango pondi nkwa. Number three. Embo we ready to unyango pondi nkwa. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you. Four by four. Kai humi dana ya unkongkong five. You were jani when when six. India seven. Etrotwaso. Yeah. Let me show you this one. That will help so that uh, you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah, what you say? Uh -huh. This is how it's supposed to be done. You see? Uh -huh. Like this. One. Two. So if you say number eight, number eight, that shall not steal. Steal. Uh -huh. mm. So if you can observe all the law, then you are right. So if you don't know the law, how can you observe it? Oh. It is very, very, very serious that you should learn them, please. Yes, yeah. Okay. Now the last question I hand over to Brother Isaac. What is the last commandment? What's the last commandment? Madeline. Magdalene, last commandment. Good. Good. Good next week. We'll be able to Wow.
Mimi yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's good. Obi aba next week ya. Wa went me an kind of commandments. Me bom payama. Hi. Wo na mana o tia sika o. Hey. Wo na o do tia say ya. Amen. I've told you today how Paul and the other apostles observed the Sabbath. In the Acts of Apostles, there are a lot of evidence that shows me and you that the commandment about the Sabbath is not for the old ancient time, it's for the New Testament era. It's for me and you. So may God bless you and let Him help you to absorb and remember these things so that whenever you are working and somebody comes to you and say that the sabbath keeping is an old covenant tell my friend you lie paul did it in apostles as of apostle here and there here and there he did it it's an evidence may god bless you even as i hand over to your teacher papa isaac, papa isaac please i've done my job god bless you carry over from here uh, Eda. Eda. mama shalom shalom Eda. Mm. Okay, I end up. May I and no so Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, New Testament, apart from the woman, you saw a cajon because you have a smartphone, you manimo and pebbre say Paul and a shameful de kino or more at your homed any tumu, stretch your homed down one sem or homed animal. This oak shell will be no castle, Madame Fuja to some a is that for that of someone. No swinging in a sobe at your derby and this are Paul with the homeda. Sure for the Kenya, Eddie Homeda. Aha, the old kind of men are yarding. Next, I will discuss them in some member, make camera for Baco, Macachi Baco, make a Baco, seven hours will be to me. I follow this, sir. Madame, I am not Obi or Honoma, eh? I will be a hour for him, but to me, I mean, for his America. Let's not my kind of come, I come, I say. Namepa, a banner, made a mark on my bayard. It's more than I see why. I see why. I will not allow you to end this uh, this teaching. I have to give you another assignment. So next week, you have to come. <laughs> next week, prepare, prepare, <laughs> and bring what, what another one we have to do in the Sabbath and what we don't have to do in the Sabbath. Please. How to keep the Sabbath? Okay, how to keep the Sabbath? What we have to do in the Sabbath and what we don't have to do in the Sabbath because many people, we, we observe the Sabbath but the things, some things we, we're supposed not to do that in, What's in the it Sabbath. Next week like Papa, yes. Because we observe the Sabbath.